Although the roads here in Billings are pretty icy, opening day here at Costco is in full swing. And soon, the massive parking lot will be full of cars and excited shoppers. Shoppers started rising long before the sun for a very special day. Big adventure for the day. Traveling on icy roads to be a part of the new Costco's grand opening. We're big supporters of Costco and enjoy Costco as it was, so this is going to be much better. Diane and Jim Kleeman live in the Heights, but awoke extra early Friday to travel across town for the store's 8 a.m. opening. Well, if you go down Zimmerman, it's pretty easy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yes. so it's fine. But perhaps no one was more excited for the opening than 99-year-old Frank Clark. <laughs> The World War II veteran and his son Doug got to help cut the ribbon on the new building. It means a lot. The duo visits Costco every Thursday for lunch, something they've been doing for more than a decade. He's made all kinds of friends here, and uh, he also gives out Tootsie Pops to the little kids after they finish with their lunch. Making friends left and right and being recognized for his sacrifices. We met a gentleman last week in Costco and he was from Normandy and he asked my father where he served and my father said he served in Europe in the third army under General Patton. He went in to Utah Beach a few days after D-Day and the gentleman was moved and he thanked my father for his service and that's just just one of many of the incidents that we've here. One of Frank's friends who joins him every week for lunch is Bob Getz. He says it's not about shopping trips, but rather making lasting friendships. I saw him here and after that every Thursday afternoon we'd come and have lunch together and we've done that for 12 years. 12 years strong with no plans to stop and now a new location to convene at. It's a store that for some is much more than just another place to shop. We want to thank the wonderful employees that work here. And we know there will be a lot of friendships made here in the future. In Billings, Kelsey Boggs, MTN News.